27, the Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents the mini biography of Joe Biden. Joe Biden is the president-elect of the United States. He also functioned as Barack Obama's vice president from 2008 to 2016. Who is Joe Biden? Joe Biden briefly worked as an attorney prior to turning to politics. He ended up being the fifth youngest U.S. senator in history along with Delaware's longest-serving senator. His 2008 governmental project never ever gained momentum, but Democratic nominee Barack Obama selected him as his running mate, and Biden went on to serve two terms as the 47th Vice President of the United States. In 2017, at the close of his administration, Obama provided Biden with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Two years later Biden launched his campaign for U.S. President, and was elected as the 46th President of the United States. Early years, Long prior to reaching among the greatest political offices in the nation, Biden born upon November 20, 1942 matured in the blue-collar city of Scranton in northeast Pennsylvania. His father, Joseph Biden Sr., worked cleaning furnaces and as a used automobile salesman. His mom was Catherine Eugenia Jean Finnegan. Biden credits his moms and dads with instilling in him durability, effort and perseverance. He has remembered his father often saying, Champ, the measure of a man is not how often he is torn down but how quickly he gets up. He's likewise stated that when he would get back sullen because he had actually been bullied by among the bigger kids in the community, his mom would inform him, bloody their nose so you can stroll down the street the next day. Biden went to St. Paul's Elementary School in Scranton. In 1955, when he was 13 years old, the household relocated to Mayfield, Delaware, a rapidly growing middle-class community sustained mainly by the nearby DuPont chemical business. As a child, Biden struggled with a stutter, and kids called him Dash and Joe Impedimenta to mock him. He eventually conquered his speech impediment by remembering long passages of poetry and reciting them out loud in front of the mirror. Biden participated in the St. Helena School up until he got approval into the Distinguished Archmere Academy. Although he needed to work by cleaning the school windows and weeding the gardens to assist his household pay for tuition, Biden had actually long imagined participating in the school, which he called the things of my inmost desire, my eyes. At Archmere, Biden was a strong trainee and, in spite of his little size, a standout receiver on the football team. He was a slim kid. His coach remembered, however he was among the best pass receivers I had in 16 years as in law school. Biden, Biden participated from Archmere in the neighboring University of Delaware, where he studied history and government and played football. He would later admit that he spent his first two years of college much more thinking about football, ladies and celebrations than academics. But he also developed a sharp interest in politics throughout these years, spurred in part by the motivating inauguration of John F. Kennedy in 1961. On a spring break trip to the Bahamas throughout his junior year, Biden fulfilled a Syracuse University trainee called Melia Hunter and, in his own words, fell us over tin cup in love at very first sight. Encouraged by his new love, he used himself more totally to his studies and was accepted into the Syracuse University Law School upon his graduation from Delaware in 1965. Biden and Hunter wed the next year, in 1966. Biden was at finest a mediocre law trainee. During his first year at Syracuse, he failed a class for failing to properly point out a reference to a law review article. Although he declared it was an unintentional oversight, the event would haunt him later in his career. Early political career. After graduating from law school in 1968, Biden transferred to Wilmington, Delaware, to start practicing at a law office. He likewise became an active member of the Democratic Party, and in 1970 he was chosen to the new Castle County Council. While serving as councilman, in 1971, Biden began his own law office. In addition to his significantly busy expert life, Biden had three children, Joseph Biden III, born in 1969, Hunter Biden, born in 1970, and Naomi Biden, born in 1971. Everything was happening faster than I expected, Biden said about his life at the time. In 1972, the Delaware Democratic Party encouraged a 29-year-old Biden to run against the popular Republican incumbent J. Caleb Boggs for the United States Senate. Although couple of thought he stood any chance, Biden ran a steadfast project arranged mostly by family members. His sibling, Valerie Biden Owens, served as his campaign manager, and both of his parents campaigned daily. That November, in a tight race with a large turnout, Biden won an upset triumph to end up being the fifth youngest U.S. Senator elected in the country's history. Family tragedy. Simply as all of Biden's wildest dreams appeared to be coming to life, he was struck by devastating tragedy. A week prior to Christmas in 1972, Biden's better half and three kids were associated with a horrible vehicle mishap while out looking for a Christmas tree. 
The mishap eliminated his other half and daughter and significantly hurt both of his boys, Bo and Hunter. Biden was sad and even thought about suicide. He recalls, I started to comprehend how anguish led individuals to just money in. How suicide wasn't simply an option however a logical choice, I felt God had actually played an awful trick on me, and I was mad. Nevertheless, at the support of his household, Biden decided to honor his dedication to representing the people of Delaware in the Senate. He skipped the swearing-in ceremony for new senators in Washington and rather took the oath of office from his kids' health center room. In order to spend as much time as possible with his sons, Biden decided to continue to reside in Wilmington, traveling to and from Washington each day by Amtrak train, a practice he preserved through his entire long period in the Senate. Senate Years From 1973 to 2009, Biden served a recognized Senate profession. Throughout his time in the Senate, Biden won regard as one of the body's leading foreign policy professionals, serving as chairman of the Committee on Foreign Relations for numerous years. His lots of diplomacy positions consisted of promoting for strategic arms constraint with the Soviet Union, promoting peace and stability in the Balkans, broadening NATO to include former Soviet bloc nations and opposing the first Gulf War. In later years, he called for American action to end the genocide in Darfur and spoke up against President George W. Bush's handling of the Iraq War particularly opposing the troop rise of 2007. In addition to foreign policy, Biden was an outspoken supporter of harder criminal activity laws. In 1987, Supreme Court candidate Robert Bork's failure to get confirmation was mainly attributed to severe questioning by Biden, who was then chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee. In 1994, Biden sponsored the Violent Crime Control and Law Enforcement Act to add 100,000 police officers and increase sentences for a host of criminal offenses. Presidential ambitions. In 1987, having developed himself as one of Washington's most popular Democratic legislators, Biden chose to run for the U.S. presidency. He dropped out of the Democratic primary, nevertheless, after reports appeared that he had actually plagiarized part of a speech. Biden had actually been suffering severe headaches throughout the campaign, and quickly after he dropped out in 1988, physicians found that he had two life-threatening brain aneurysms. Complications from the taking place brain surgical treatment caused blood clots in his lungs, which, in turn, triggered him to undergo another surgery. Constantly resilient, Biden returned to the Senate after making it through a seven-month healing period. U.S. Vice President In 2007, 20 years after his first unsuccessful governmental, Biden as soon as again chosen to run for the U.S. presidency. In spite of his years of experience in the Senate, however, Biden's campaign stopped working to create much momentum in a field dominated by Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama. Biden left after receiving less than 1% of the vote in the essential Iowa caucuses. A number of months later, however, Obama having protected the Democratic nomination after a hard-fought project versus Clinton selected Biden as his running mate. With his working-class roots, Biden assisted the Obama project communicate its message of financial recovery to the blue-collar voters vital to swing states like Ohio and Pennsylvania. On November 2, 2008, Barack Obama and Joe Biden convincingly defeated the Republican ticket of Arizona Senator John McCain and Alaska Governor Sarah Palin. On January 20, 2009, Obama was sworn in as the 44th U.S. President and Biden became the 47th Vice President. While Biden mostly served in the role of behind-the-scenes advisor to the president, he took especially active roles in creating federal policies associating with Iraq and Afghanistan. In 2010, the vice president utilized his well-established Senate connections to help secure passage of the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty between the United States and the Russian Federation. Biden appeared to relish the opportunity to play an essential role in the Obama administration. Following the 2008 election, he said, this is a historic moment. I started my profession fighting for civil liberties, and to be a part of what is both a minute in American history where the very best individuals, the very best ideas, the how can I say it, the single finest reflection of the American people can be called upon to be at that minute, with a person who has such amazing talent, and who is also an advancement figure in multiple methods I truly discover that exciting. It's a brand new America. It's the reflection of a new America. Re-election and second term. Running for re-election in 2012, the Obama-Biden team dealt with Republican opposition Mitt Romney, a previous governor of Massachusetts, and Romney's vice presidential running mate, U.S. Representative Paul Ryan of Wisconsin. Obama beat Romney in the 2012 election, earning a second term as president and Biden another term as vice president. President Obama got almost 60% of the electoral vote, and won the popular vote by more than 1 million tallies. Later on that year, Biden showed just how prominent a vice president he might be. 
He contributed in achieving a bipartisan arrangement on tax boosts and spending cuts to prevent the financial cliff crisis. With a looming deadline, Biden was able to hammer out a deal with Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. On January 1, 2013, the fiscal cliff cost passed in the Senate after months of tough negotiations. Your home of representatives approved it later on that day. Around this time, Biden also became a leading figure in the national debate about weapon control. He was selected to head up a special task force on the issue after the school shooting at a new town, Connecticut Elementary School that December. Biden provided services for reducing gun violence across the nation to President Obama in January 2013. He assisted Kraft 19 actions that the president could take on the concern using his power of executive order to name a few recommendations. Personal life and post White House. Biden has actually been married to his second partner, Jill Biden, because 1977. The couple's daughter, Ashley, was born in 1981. On May 30, 2015, Biden suffered another personal loss when his boy Bo died at the age of 46, after fighting brain cancer. Bo Biden was, quite merely, the finest male any of us have ever known, Biden wrote in a declaration about his child. Following this tragedy, Biden considered a run for the presidency, but he put the speculation to rest in October 2015 when he announced that he would not look for the 2016 Democratic nomination. In the White House Rose Garden with his spouse Jill and President Obama by his side, Biden made his announcement, describing his kid's current death in his decision-making, as my household, and I have overcome the mourning process, I've stated all along what I've said time and again to others, that it might effectively be that the process by the time we get through it closes the window. I've concluded it has closed. Biden added, while I will not be a candidate, I will not be silent. I plan to speak out plainly and powerfully, to affect as much as I can where we stand as a celebration and where we require to go as a country. On January 12, 2017, President Obama presented Biden with the Presidential Medal of Freedom with Difference, the country's highest civilian honor, in a surprise ceremony at the White House. Obama called Biden the very best vice president America's ever had in a lion of American history, and told him he was being honored for faith in your fellow Americans, for your love of country and a lifetime of service that will withstand through the generations. Biden provided an emotional impromptu speech thanking the president, First Lady Michelle Obama, his other half Jill and his kids. As promised, Biden refused to remain peaceful even after leaving workplace. Known for his opposition to Obama's successor, Donald Trump, he periodically emerged to slam the 45th president. At an October 2017 occasion he stated that Trump does not understand governance, and the following month he blasted the White House incumbent for his seeming defense of white nationalist groups. In addition, Biden sometimes revealed his blended sensations on bypassing the opportunity to run for president in 2016. In March 2017, he stated he could have won, and in November, he elaborated on those thoughts in an interview with Oprah Winfrey. No lady or male need to announce they're running for president unless they can respond to two concerns, he said. One, do they genuinely think they're the most qualified individual for that minute? I believed I was however was I prepared to be able to provide my whole heart, my whole soul, and all my objective to the venture. And I understood I wasn't. A couple of weeks later on, on the talk show The View, Biden had a much publicized interaction with co-host Meghan McCain, whose dad, Senator John McCain, had been detected with the very same brain cancer that killed Beau Biden. When Meghan McCain ended up being visibly distressed while discussing the illness, the VP gently took her hand to console her, pointing out how Senator McCain influenced everyone with his guts. There is hope, he said. And if anyone can make it, your daddy can. In an interview with Al Sharpton the following spring, Biden stated he hadn't ruled out running for president in 2020, though he still hadn't recuperated enough from his boy's death to dedicate himself to the effort. I'm truly hoping that some other folks step up, he said. I believe we have some really excellent individuals, I got to leave knowing that it is there's someone who can do it and can win because we've got to win. We've got to win in 2020. The outcomes of a Harvard Cap slash Harris survey in June suggested that Democrats weren't ready to let Biden walk away just yet, as he topped the survey with 32% of individuals calling him their favorite for the party's nomination in 2020. Hillary Clinton came in second at 18%, with Bernie Sanders completing third at 16%. While still contemplating a governmental run the following March, Biden faced a new problem when Lucy Flores, a previous Nevada State Assemblywoman, released an essay that described Biden wrongly kissing her at a project occasion. Biden reacted with a declaration in which he recalled the numerous handshakes, hugs, expressions of love, support and convenience he offered to political allies throughout the years, including, and not as soon as never did I believe I acted wrongly. If it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully. However it was never ever my intention. 
A couple of days later, a previous congressional aide named Amy Lapis came forward with her story of how Biden when made her unpleasant at a charity event, indicating the concern would likely linger through a presidential project. 2020 Presidential Campaign On April 25, 2019, Biden provided the expected news that he was running for president in 2020. In his three-and-a-half-minute video statement, the previous VP referenced President Trump's attempt to correspond people on both sides of the violent, racially charged clash in Charlottesville, Virginia, in 2017, stating he knew then that the hazard to our nation was unlike any I'd ever seen in my lifetime. Although he easily led most Democratic surveys at the time he went into the race, Biden's candidacy soon ended up being a litmus test for a party with a significantly progressive base. Underscoring the challenges of providing himself as a moderate, Biden drew criticism for verifying his assistance of the Hyde Amendment, a 43-year-old measure that prohibited federal funding for abortions, prior to reversing his position shortly later. Throughout the very first Democratic primary debate in late June, Biden once again found his performance history targeted when Kamala Harris took him to task for his opposition to busing as a method of integrating schools in the 1970s. He fared much better in subsequent arguments, in which he showed his sound grasp of foreign policy and connected his achievements to those of President Obama. On the other hand, a new issue emerged in September 2019 with the revelation that President Trump had actually pushed the Ukrainian government into investigating Biden and his child Hunter. This came from Hunter's previous involvement with the Ukrainian energy business, Burisma Holdings, and Biden's efforts to have the country's prosecutor general at the time fired. In a September 24 speech, Biden called Trump's actions an abuse of power and said he would support impeachment if the president did not work together with Congress, a topic that handled extra seriousness when House Speaker Nancy Pelosi fired up impeachment procedures that very same day. After Trump's impeachment trial ended with his acquittal on February 5, 2020, Biden ended up fourth in the Iowa caucuses and then fifth in the New Hampshire main. But he rebounded with a resounding win in South Carolina at the end of the month, and continued his momentum by declaring most of delegates from Super Tuesday ballot in early March, his surge driving the majority of his leading competitors from the race. During a one-on-one -on -one dispute with Sanders in mid-March, Biden dedicated to nominating a woman to serve as his vice president. He ended up being the presumptive Democratic candidate when Sanders ended his campaign in early April, though he likewise discovered himself dealing with brand new accusations of sexual assault, this time from a former assistant called Tara Reid. On August 11, 2020, Biden revealed Kamala Harris as his vice presidential running mate. I have the excellent honor to reveal that I've picked Kamala Harris a courageous fighter for the little guy, and one of the country's finest public servants as my running mate, Biden stated. Back when Kamala was attorney general, she worked carefully with Bo. I watched as they took on the big banks, lifted up working individuals, and protected women and kids from abuse. I was happy then, and I'm happy now to have her as my partner in this project. In August, Biden officially became the 2020 Democratic presidential candidate. Presidential Debates with Trump The much-anticipated very first presidential dispute between Biden and Trump on September 29, 2020, was an untidy affair marked by regular interruptions and heated conversations that rapidly spiraled off topic. A flustered Biden called his opponent a clown, however he likewise handled to get in numerous shots at the president's handling of the coronavirus pandemic, and emphatically presented his views on police and environment change. A second dispute was set up for October 15, however after Trump declined to do a virtual argument, city center for both prospects were scheduled rather. With microphones frequently muted during the third dispute on October 22, Biden dealt with fewer disruptions as he articulated his positions on health care, immigration overhaul and green jobs. He also again unloaded on the president for his coronavirus management and policy of separating migrant children from their moms and dads at the border, drawing a clear difference between their designs with the declaration that America's character is on the tally. 2020 Election With a number of states counting mail and tallies well past the close of polling places on November 3, 2020, the race stayed too tight to call into the next day. Nevertheless, the tide began moving in Biden's favor with the statements of his victories in Wisconsin and Michigan, in addition to reports of his leads in Arizona, Nevada, and Georgia. Meanwhile, President Trump launched a series of claims that alleged voter fraud and looked for to stop the counting in battleground states. On November 7, 2020, four days after Election Day, Biden was stated as the 46th president-elect after winning Pennsylvania. Together with earning a record 74 million-plus votes, the soon-to-be 78-year-old was set to become the earliest president in the country's history. America, I'm honored that you have chosen me to lead our great country, Biden tweeted. The work ahead of us will be hard, 
but I promise you this, I will be a president for all Americans whether you chose me or not. I will keep the faith that you have positioned in me.